All right, I'm going to do a second video here to uh, talk about the recent trip to Washington, D.C. that I came back from less than a week ago. Um, I shot a bunch of, I shot a video of two capital tours that I took, and uh, I was testing out my camera mounted microphone on one, the first one. And uh, testing out the, uh, the, the on-camera microphone on the second one. So the directional camera mounted mic, I, I like the sound better and I, I learned a little bit from that. But what I really learned was that they, uh, they do not like talking about the January 6th riots at the Capitol. And understandably so. Um, I mean, it was traumatic and the, uh, the tour guys and the Capitol Police understandably feel vulnerable because of their diminished numbers. There's not that many of the Capitol Police that are there compared to the uh, size of the tourist groups. And even though it's not, you know, angry protesters like on January 6th, 2021, um, still, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they feel, I'm sure they feel the, uh, the sense of being low in numbers when it comes to uh, a large crowd. But it, they need to figure out a way to give the public information about what happened there. And they should, they should include some kind of tour that talks about what happened on January 6th. Because right now the trend is to diminish it. There's a, a large portion of the political spectrum that wants to um, ignore it act like maybe it was justified and it's not good for democracy to uh, let it simply go that route. It's the most significant thing that happened in America politically since I think the Watergate, uh, Vietnam, Nixon resignation era and uh, well with maybe the the Reagan attempted assassination being um, distant second or third place but the the January sixth riots are something that is still fresh on the minds of America, and with the election coming up in a little over a year, that's an issue that needs to be looked at very, very, um, very strongly, very assiduously. The uh, the tour guides were not comfortable at all at answering questions about it. We walked by. The door that face, faces east, the main door facing east on the Capitol, incredibly great looking, huge door, huge heavy door, and you're not you're not able to you're not allowed to approach it um, from the outside, but when doing the tour, you can look at it through. I, I was able to look at it through the uh, the windows from the inside, and the the framework of of the door has these metal sculptures. I don't know if it's bronze or if it's, I don't think it's copper because it would have been tarnished green probably, but I don't know. They're metal and there's, there would be great to have a tour um, where an art historian points out the, the workmanship and the story being told by each one of these images that are um, Memorialized in in uh, metal sculpture on the on the uh, framework of the uh, uh, east facing door. They, there should be a tour that goes step by step and breaks down what happened on January sixth. When we walked past that, when we had walked, the tour was almost over, and I, I asked the tour guide in the second day of the tour, you know, was that one of the door, doors that I already knew the answer. I asked her, was that one of the doors that the riders broke th broke through? And she said, yes, they smashed it in. I think what happened is they originally came in through the uh, west facing door and they, they walked across, the rioters did, and, and let the protesters in on the east side. But I, I asked the tour guide, all right, was, was, the, was the staircase that was, when you're facing the door from the inside, to the right of it, was the staircase to the right of it the one that the uh, rioters chased the Capitol Police officer, I think his name was Goodman, up. and. Uh, she just said no that was a different one and uh, that was all she said you know she we were unhooking our uh, earphones at the time that was the end of the tour but she was not comfortable she was not happy 
<laughs> I could tell, you know, she was, when, when, when you're in the rotunda, when you're, when you're in a statuary hall, they're really happy to um, talk about the statues and the art and everything, and rightfully so, of course. Um, and, and they're very ready with an, ac an answer. But um, they try to get past any questions about gender or sex very quickly, and um, I, I I know why it's not a it's not a it's not a pleasant thing, and it's still very fresh in people's minds, and it's it's very soon, maybe too soon, to talk about it on tour. But it can't be ignored, and uh, so much of America just just a few days after the riots, it was like, you know, it happened, and now it's over, and, and now it's done. And uh, it's an issue that is not going to is not going to go away, and um, it needs to be looked at and, and deconstructed and understood and talked about. And um, yeah, I'm going to be posting something on Patreon and uh, on the Reviewer Mag blog here <coughs> today or tomorrow. I'm gonna, I've got a video of the whole tour. You'll be able to see that on Patreon, Patron, Patreon, Patron, Patreon. I, I keep, I, I gotta get that word down. Is it Patreon or Patron, Patron, Patreon, Patron? Okay. Sorry. Mm, anyways, um, you, you can see that on on the uh, Patreon blog and on Reviewer Mag and also on um, Instagram. Instagram is Reviewer Mag, and uh, then I've got a backup at Reviewer TV. Um, so thank you for listening and I'm still figuring out the, uh, the best way to record these, um, blog posts on, on, on YouTube. So I hope you're able to hear me real well and, uh, can tolerate my disfluency of my ums and ahs. And when I, when I digress, I'm going to try to become a little bit more smooth with that and not get off on tangents, but, um, have a good day of sports fans and I will see you soon. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to add, I'm going to edit in here a little blurb as an ad rhetorical for the city of Washington, D.C. Everybody needs to go to Washington, D.C. at least once and do the tour of the Capitol and see the sights. There's so much to see there. It is a, a very, very tourist-friendly city, and there is so much to learn. There's so much that you will gain and that is valuable and that you will be enriched by personally, I believe, you, you know, doesn't matter what side of the political spectrum you are, um, whether you're, you know, left, right, doesn't even matter if you're an American or not. If you could be, if you're a foreigner learning about the, uh, the history in Washington, DC is uh, a very, very, um, uh, rewarding experience. So do that. When I was on M Street, I went into a bar and had a drink, and the bartender I talked to for a little bit, he told me that um, the city of Washington is the most visited city in the world. I didn't check that uh, for a, a, you know an, an unbiased source, but um, I can believe it. I'm sure it's way up there. I'm sure in America it's probably the number one, more, more so than... New York or L.A. or uh, any other tourist attraction, Washington, D.C., people go there for the history. And it's got a lot of it. And, uh, yes, so check out Washington, D.C. if you get a chance. That is my recommendation from Reviewer Rob to you.